Okay, so this is for review for August 2001 WCW. Who would have thought we would make it to this stage? Was it a successful month overall? If we're looking at the pay-per-view, no, it wasn't. The Nitro ratings are down, but Thunder and Showdown are going down very well. So uh, we need the ratings to go up. Let's have a look at the mail. We've got some birthdays here. Crazy. Hulk Hogan over double the age of Jamie Noble. Terry Funk even five years older. A new, a new promotion, Extreme Championship Wrestling 2, has opened. Don't know the point in that, but there you go. So, financially, we are doing well. We're making money every month. This is great. We made that much off merchandise. Staff member Mike Rotunda has three months left. David Finlay. Miss Jones has left the promotion. That's for Kat's uh, manager. Uh, don't think he really needs her, to be honest. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe I could sign her back. Alex Wright. Rocco Rock. Johnny B. Bad. Terry Funk has decided to become a non-wrestler. Well, he could have given me a bit of warning, like Ric Flair. At least he gave me a month's warning. But uh, Terry Funk, so he's no longer wrestling. That's a bit of a uh, a ball ache because he's just he's the leader of the extreme revolution. Well, that has really put a spanner in the works, hasn't it? But we'll decide what to do. Alter boy Matthew has improved. The Alter Boys, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do, but they're going to be in development for a while longer. Shark Boy has done well. He's a future um, player in the Cruiserweight division. And Randy Orton, look at him. I did sign him on a development deal. And, uh, yeah, really good. Pride have announced for competitors for the next year's worth of shows. Fab, so... Other workers, let's go down to Miss Jones first because she is with the cat. Contract negotiations open. Let's have her on an open contract. We don't really need her um, on a written deal. So there we go. Let's go to television. So I'll just show you Nitro. Okay, better colour commentator. I mean, Tony Schiavone's good. Our ratings are below what the network expects. Something needs to change. Okay. Maybe Tony Schiavone can come off duty and be replaced with, say, Mike Tanay. Possibly. But um, we'll sort that one out. So event history, let's uh, let's go back to Big Bang. So this was meant to be a really good pay per view, and we'll start off with the first match, Air Raid One and Four Way Tag Match. There was no build up to this; it was just four good cruiserweight teams going at it, and I did expect it to get a little bit better than that. The hardcore title match, I thought with some more over wrestlers it would do a little bit better but it didn't it only got a bad rating and even though david flair's bad it had hugh morris and bam bam bigelow it should have done better and it's just it confirmed to me that it shouldn't the hardcore title shouldn't be on the line at the next pay-per-view ginger and o'hare winning a four-way match that did not go down well at all tag match and you know sometimes the four-way elimination matches can go well but this one didn't the three-way TV title match was pretty good, as you can see, as was the Cruiserweight title match. Filthy Animals beating Rat Pack, I expected it to get a little bit more. There was quite a bit of build-up to that. My Course and Canyon did pretty well, although I would have liked it to get a bit more. The four-way match for the interim title was a letdown, as was the main event. The main event was meant to be getting in the 90s, and to be fair, the crowd reaction was 100% but the actual match was shocking and that's why Hulk Hogan hasn't appeared since but to get a good rating on Nitro I am bringing Hulk Hogan back for a match with Goldberg so let's see if that can change anything 
current stables, Blackout, Evolution, Revolution. Well, Blackout, no, they're not. I may as well disband them. They're not around. Uh, Evolution, Revolution, Extreme Revolution, Terry Funk. I mean, to be fair, he is still in for Revolution and he's probably still available for interviews and that. He's just not going to wrestle. Filthy Animals, happy with them. Five Star Attraction, haven't appeared for quite a while. Natural Born Thrillers, I need to get rid of them. And the Rat Pack, I like the Rat Pack as well. Uh, maybe for Wall, we'll leave that. Now he's uh, fighting for the TV title, but we'll see. That's, uh, I think that pretty much concludes. Let's just uh, have a look at the title holders. Cruiserweight champion, Lash LaRoe. Hardcore champion, DDP. Interim world is vacant. Tag champs, totally buff. TV title, the cat. US title, Mike Awesome. And world title, Sting. So I will go into all the workers. Let's see if the rock is still touring. He is still touring. Now uh, I'm I'm so desperate to get Rob Van Dam, and he is oh, he's still touring with zero one, and I don't know when it's going to end. But he's just he just won't sign. And same with Sabu. Uh, Rhino. Where's Rhino? He's still. Can you shortlist? Oh, written contract, yeah. Anyway, I'll have a, a quick look. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we will sort out the showdown card. We know that uh, Shannon Moore wants to face Elix Skipper. And we know we need to announce for Hulk Hogan and Goldberg match for the next Nitro. So stay tuned for that one. I'm sure it will be epic. I'm sure the fans will be up for it and I'm sure it'll be a terrible match quality. But if it brings in the ratings, that is what is most important.